I read a funny quote. You said that you'd gotten off Coronation Street and had played that character, and people saw you that way and thought that's what you could do. And, and you were like, come on, I'm, I'm 18. Don't. Yeah. Let me show you what I can do here. Don't typecast me. And, and it, it brings up such a, it's the double-edged sword of any success, right? That once you have a little bit of it, people only want to see you that way or they want to put you in that box. I mean, how does that feel for an actor to, to sort of get that feedback? It was, again, well, like you say, a bit of a double-edged sword because I got with my agent in the UK, who I'm still with now, from doing the show because he's a fan of the show and he's one of the top sort of three agents in, in the country. And, you know, he's taught me that there's so much more, you know, because if they'd have offered me another year I, on the show, I would have taken because I didn't know what I was doing. I, I, I didn't have any sort of concept of um, manoeuvring a career long term or anything like that. You just wanted to but, work. Yeah, I was, I was happy to have a job, you know. And um, so at 18, my agent sort of said, no, it's great that you're leaving because I would want you to leave anyway, however much I, he loved the show. He's like, for you, you need to be proving yourself in, in different areas and doing different things. I realised that's where I love to be. I love the challenge of doing a different accent, playing a different character, doing all these things. But right. when I started, it was still very much like you're this person, you know, you, you fit in that box, you fit in that box. And I never wanted to fit in any box. I wanted to be, you know, I always wanted to be looking ahead to being Judy Dench one day or Helen Mirren and be accepted in all areas and, and you know, be great at what I do and, and be respected in all areas, you know, and, and I wanted to explore every avenue of that, you know. But I was never in sort of any rush, I guess. I'd always sort of seen it as a long-term thing. Uh -huh. I'd always seen it as something I want to do forever. So, yes, it's, you know, of course, there's times where I've gone, mm, I don't know if I can keep doing this. It's really hard, you know. And then I kind of go, well, I can't do anything else, and there's nothing else I want to do, so I will. But like you say, it's, it's a mixture of, yes, you know, having a certain amount of talent and yes, making the most of the opportunities you get, but it's also a mixture of getting those opportunities in the first place. And right. if you just don't happen to have the opportunity by chance or by whatever, then it's a, it's a brutal career to, path to follow because it doesn't make you any less talented than the next person that's getting these jobs that you want.